Hi, it's Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I'm going to show you my Lion Brand yarn haul. They had a 10 for 10 sale and I'm going to show you what I got with that. And I've also changed up my yarn subscription boxes a little bit. I've been doing Mary Maxim for quite a long time now, for well over a year, maybe a year and a half. And I decided to take a little break from Mary Maxim and I'm going to be doing um, two other subscription boxes that I've seen a lot on. I'm going to be doing um, Knit Crate and I'm going to be doing um, Annie's Hook and Needle Club. So I've got those now. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of unboxings on YouTube, um, especially since Knit Crate's April box has been out for quite a while now. But this is my first one, and with Knit Crate, you also got a special um, mystery box for when you first signed up. So I have that, too. And I'm going to just, you know, show everybody what I got, tell you what I think of it. And since these are my first month, my first um, time getting those subscription boxes, I'll probably do a few more um, unboxings just to you know let you know what I think of them and if I'm going to continue doing them and maybe if you'd like to do them you can sign up too I can always put the links to those um, companies in the description box below so first let's get into my Lion Brand 10 for 10 sale yarn haul so let's see just the invoice we don't need to show that so first I got some hometown USA. This is called Memphis Blues. It is a bulky six and it's this blue and gray color. This is really soft in the camera and it's really pretty. I've got five skeins of this blue color. I got five skeins. And oh, here's I got Woolies Thick and Quick. And this is a bulky six. These have 92 yards. And this is a let's see, what is this? Um 90, oh, excuse me, 79 acrylic, 20% wool. And it's not as soft as the hometown, but it's still kind of soft. And it's got this like sparklies in it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So I thought it was really pretty. The hometown, I didn't see what the content was in hometown. Um, that is 100% acrylic. And it's 64 yards per skein. For the Woolies, I got like five skeins of that too, so I got quite a bit of that too, so I'll be able to make a really nice project with that, probably uh, something obviously bulky. These are like their winter yarns that they had on that they had on sale. And another hometown, and this one's called Carson City, it's a nice, um, gold color I would call this. It's very pretty. So it's Carson City Tweed. And just like the other one, it's a bulky six. 100% oh this one's actually 94% acrylic, 6% rayon. So this is Hometown USA. This one was also Hometown USA. So it was a little bit different, um, different yarn. I'm not quite sure what was the difference. Probably because this has the different, this one here. Let me see the camera. That's kind of new for me doing this kind of stuff. Um, has the blue and the gray in it and this is a solid color. So I got five skeins of this too. And then I got five skeins of the green and gray which I thought was kind of pretty too. And it's called Long Beach Lime. I just kind of like the name of that one because, you know, my husband's from California and Long Beach was not too far from where he grew up. He grew up on Huntington Beach. So I kind of picked this one because of the name of it. So this is what I got from Lion Brand. 
all of this yarn was about $30 with their sale. So that's with shipping. So I thought that was a really good value. And so that's what I got with Lion Brand. And let's go over Knit Crate. This one was the the first, this is the Knit Crate April. Let's see if it's taped up here. Um, get a pair of scissors. pattern book and this is the oh this is the leaf eater color this is very pretty so side here so we can look at the yarn so it's a very pretty color it's a green it's very soft let's see it's Audine wool's side uh, sing DK the colorway is leaf eater it's 85% merino wool and 15% cashmere. It's DK weight, 302 yards. Very soft, very squishy. It's a really, really pretty mint green. Very nice. And let's see what the patterns. Put this down here so we can see the patterns. So we have the pattern book for this month. And let's see what the pattern is. Oh, could have come in this love, I could have gotten this really pretty red too. Uh, let's see, the red was called Ladybug. Okay, so here is the pattern, the crochet pattern for this month. It's a very pretty shawl. And the designer's name is Liana Bru. Oh, I'm gonna pronounce. Oh, I'll probably slaughter her last name. Chimiclio, Chimico. Oh, sorry if I slaughtered your name. I apologize. Here's another picture of that shawl. And it also comes with. I was intrigued by this because it comes with. A knit pattern as well and here is the the knit pattern and I'm very interested in learning how to knit so I was that's one of the reasons why I decided to get knit crate as well to try this and oh it looks like you also get the sock pattern as well oh that's cool and here is the sock pattern. So that's very pretty too, this month. So that's a pretty good deal. So you get three patterns and the yarn. And then this was the mystery crate right here. And there is the yarn. And Looks like you also get the pattern book too. Looks like the, the, is it the same pattern? Let's see. No, this is November on it. So actually this is a different pattern book. Oh, okay, so this is a different pattern book. It comes with this one and here is one of the patterns that you can do. That is a crochet pattern. So that's very nice. And that designer is Jen Dyer. Uh, I didn't slaughter her name. And it's also got, it looks like mitts and a hat. There's another pattern that it comes with. It looks like a knit pattern. Oh, and it comes with the cowl pattern as well. And the cowl. 
see, does the scarf have another pattern too? Or is it just the scarf for the crochet pattern? Okay, hold on with just a minute here. Okay, so it looks like the crochet pattern is just the scarf. It looks like the knit pattern you get the, the knits the cowl and the hat so yeah you get all three of those with the knit pattern that's pretty cool so they didn't do that with the crochet pattern too and then doesn't look like there's a scissor sock pattern in here too no there's no sock pattern in this one just it shows a picture of the socks but you don't actually get the sock pattern even though the yarn that they're giving you is the sock yarn but that's okay here is the yarn that's a nice pretty color it's called amber uh, it's a sugared sock 70% merino superwash merino 20% nylon 10% Stellina and it's fingering weight yarn and 399 yards. This is not a particular weight that I like working with, but I happen to have a niece that loves this kind of yarn, so this will probably be a nice little gift for her. So this will probably be hers. But that's okay. Um, Close this up, and my last kit that I have that I'd like to show you is Annie's Hook and Needle Club. Now, I did open this up, but I'm going to show you what I got in it. It was Learn a Stitch Ditch Dish Cloths. So, there is the pattern, and let's see, without revealing the patterns because I don't want to do that. See here is the crochet disc cloths and then they also have knit ones. Let's see if they have a picture. That's the, yeah that's the crochet ones I believe. I think that's the crochet ones. That might be the knit ones. Oh, yeah, that's the knit ones. These are the crochet ones on the front, I believe. I'm trying to learn how to use this camera a little bit better here. So the first one was the knit ones. The second one is the crocheted ones. So again, I got this because I was interested in trying to learn how to knit. And then they also give you this um, crochet and knit guide. It's got all kinds of information about different knit stitches and crochet stitches, yarn weights. Let's see in here the yarn weight substitutions. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but it's in there. And then you get three balls of Premier Home Cotton. Now, they had a special going on. They still have the special going on for $1.99 for your first kit and then you plus you pay your shipping. Now for $1.99 this is a fabulous uh, bargain. Now your regular price at $19.99 plus shipping this particular kit would not even be worth it. But I've seen other reviews of other kits that Annie's has and I think that it might be worth it so I'm gonna go ahead and give it another couple of months and see what happens in subsequent months to see if this is worth the value if it's worth the money that I'm gonna be paying for these kits knit crate is definitely worth it because this is hand dyed yarn and it's $24.99 and that includes your shipping Plus you get stash points for each uh, um, dollar that you spend, you get a stash point and those add up to um, 
percentages off that you can get. So you get dollars off on your purchases from Knit Crate. You can save them up and eventually you can get a free crate or you can get money off on your crates. So I think those Knit Crate is definitely worth it because hand dyed yarn is very expensive. So to get two skeins of hand dyed yarn for $24.99, that is way worth it. You know, that, that price is definitely worth it. Plus you get the patterns, you get the knit pattern and the crochet pattern, that's worth it. Um, no doubt, no, no issues there. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it works out with Annie's. Um, I always loved Annie's patterns. In fact, I have several of Annie's patterns. I just purchased a couple the other day. Um, I love their patterns. Always have. I used, when I started out, you know, 20, well, 20, <laughs> more like 40, 40 years ago when I was a child. And then when I was in my early 20s and stuff, um, when I used to do uh, craft shows and I used to be making stuff for my kids and everything, um, Annie's Attic was like, it was called Annie's Attic back then. And I used to purchase a lot of patterns from them. And them and Leisure Arts were like, you know, really big. I used to get a lot of my patterns from them. So I, you know, I thought I'd give this a try, the Hook and Needle Club. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully the the patterns and the, and the yarn and stuff will, with the subsequent kits, will be worth it. You know, we'll, we'll see as time goes on. So I, you know, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I do have some things in the works for the summertime. Um, I'm going to be doing some uh, cat toys videos. I've got, I've been don making cat toys to donate to my local animal shelter. I've been working hard on those. Um, some cat beds. Um, working on making some like cleaning things like for Swiffers and things like that, uh, crochet hook cases, um, I've got a baseball uh, diaper cover and little beanie set that I've done. I've got lots of all little projects that I've been working on that I'm going to get um, videotaped and get onto YouTube soon. So stay tuned for lots of new tutorials and you know Go ahead, hit that like button, and go ahead, if you like the video, and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my tutorials. And if there's something that you would like me to do a tutorial on, go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you'd like me to do. I certainly would appreciate some, you know, comments to know what, I, what you'd like me to do. So, happy crocheting, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.